Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. I'm happy to have you guys for another haul video. Now this is the video that I was talking about in my last video. I was telling you that I was going to make a back-to-back -back video. So this is the other video that's released on Thursday. Now the other video was released on Wednesday, so they're back-to-back. -back, so you will notice I have on the same clothes. But that's only because I decided to record it all in one night and get it out the way. So... That's why that is what it is. So, um, <laughs> anyways, all right, you guys, before we get started, I want to thank everyone for not skipping the skippable ad. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notified as soon as possible when I put a video up. And thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. I'm at over 15,000 subscribers. Help me get to 10,000. That's my next number I'm looking forward to getting to. So, let's get with the haul you guys so all right so the first book i'm gonna start off with is I actually made a video for this um it was called the target exclusive so if you haven't seen that video go check that out but th basically i was talking about the dc primal age books that's only exclusive to target so of course in that video i picked up two of them so i did of course and i have to say with the ten dollar cover price um, I wanted to pick up more, but the rest of them weren't had little issues, so I only picked up the two that were near mint. So definitely picked up those two, and I have to say this to you guys that are thinking about selling it, and you know, just to do a, a quick flip because right now they're going for over twenty five dollars on eBay. I would say this: it might be best you keep it unless you have a lot of multiple copies because. Excuse me, you guys. I'm getting a little heartburn. Um, because this um, basically has a lot of first appearances. Like, all the people that's in here, in this timeline, from whatever reality this is, whatever Earth this is, um, it's all their first appearances. Especially, and also, you know, there's a Joker in here that is not like any other Joker. So, definitely, this book you should definitely keep if you get a chance. And of course, you know me, you guys. I had to. I went to another Target, found another one in the condition that I like. So, got three of them. And then I went to another Target and was able to pick up another one. So, I took four hits of $10 a piece. So, uh, but I definitely feel it's worth it. Um, definitely, I don't know how many. Of these were printed but I doubt it that the number is very high I doubt it so um, definitely and the ten dollar cover price is definitely gonna make a lot of people not want to get it so we'll see what happens in the future but I definitely feel this is a a, a book that I'm specking on and I'm definitely feel that you guys should definitely be trying to get it. so let's go on to the next thing all right so then I went to uh, I was on Facebook Marketplace. There was a guy on there selling stuff, and and the book that the main book that he had on the listing that I was looking at was the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. Now I already have a 9.8 graded copy of that book, a CGC 9.8 in my collection, uh, but uh, I always love to have raw copies. In fact, I got three other raw copies of it, but just to add more because I know eventually he will be introduced in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the X-Men when the X-Men come to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I definitely feel Mr. Sinister is going to play a key role and the value of that book is going to just skyrocket. So I'm trying to find as many raw copies as I can. So I went there and met up with the guy and it just so happens that book was already gone. He already sold it. So I was like, ah. Oh. But then the other books he had... He had some good books, but the problem was a lot of them had ticks. And me and him got to talking, and he um he uh is a fir he just started collecting. So um he was telling me how he'll buy stuff and he'll keep what he wants and then sell the rest. And you know I told I told him you know that's that's a good way of doing it. But he's buying his stuff off of eBay, and then you know keeping the stuff and selling whatever uh, he doesn't want to keep and. I have to say, um, I told him it will be better for him starting out since he doesn't, he's not that good at grading yet. I told him it would be best that he 
do um, instead of ordering online, he should definitely go out there and go hunting and actually see the books in his hand and you know or either buy collections from you know from people where he could see the collection in his hand so that way he can make a better determination of whether or not it's worth it to get it because I have to say a lot of the books were really messed I mean it, they're reader copies basically and I have to say um and then he had ones that were water damaged so that's even worse I'm like oh god in fact I almost bought one that was water damaged like it was nothing wrong with it, but then one of the staples was rusted, so I had to I had to give it back to him because I didn't know it's the rust at first. But then, while you know, after I had bought the book from him, I looked at the book and I then I noticed I was like, ah, oh, there's rust on it. So you know, rust is on the staples is a no no for me, uh, and you know that knocks down the grade of a book a lot. So you definitely don't want rust on a staple. And I, I try to explain it to him um, that, you know, condition is everything when it comes to value, of course. Uh, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy reading the books and all that. Of course, you, you can still enjoy the hobby. You don't have to get high grades to enjoy the hobby and read the stories and all that. But the way he, um, the way I saw he was doing it, I saw it as a way of him. He basically wants to be able to build up his collection by keep like I said buying a collection and selling the rest and keeping the keys so that way he could keep buying more you know uh, but in order to do that um, even with non keys I feel like man they got to be in a certain condition for most people to buy them so um, <clears throat> but enough about that <laughs> um, but anyway he was a cool dude I told him about my channel told him to you know check out my channel I don't know if he's he did or not but um, hopefully he's looked through my my channel and learned some stuff. Uh, I told him I've been collecting since I was seven and I'm 46, so I do know a lot, but I don't know everything. I will say that I don't, nobody knows everything. It's impossible to know everything when it comes to this this hobby. It's impossible. Um, so, anyways, let's let's continue this video. <laughs> All right. So the stuff I picked up from him, he basically had different prices for different books but the total amount at first was eighteen dollars for all the books I got but then once I saw the rust on the staple of that Batman book uh, and, and I, I told him I didn't want it he gave me back two dollars and fifty cents for that book so my total for all these books is fifteen dollars and fifty cents okay <laughs> so um and I'm happy with what I got now I will say um I really am bummed out about not getting that Mr. Sinister one, but it's okay. But he had a nice little run of McFarlane Amazing Spider-Man. So we start with Amazing Spider-Man 320. And then he had issue 321. 322. Oh. And 323. Now he did have the one with the um, uh, second appearance of uh, Venom. Uh, but that one had, it looked like it had a little bit of water damage. So I left it there. I was just like, oh man, I was kind of bummed out about that one. But it's okay. Alright, so he had this amazing Spider-Man run. And then he also had the Candy X-Men. 248 first Jim Lee art and X-Men and I really am surprised at how undervalued this book is like right now this book is very undervalued like what what people don't realize is Jim Lee changed the game when it came to the X-Men like the X-Men were already like this but when Jim Lee started doing the X-Men he took them to like that like <laughs> Yeah, like, for it to be the X-Men number one, the Jim Lee, the Jim Lee arc number one is the highest selling, I think the highest selling comic of all time. Now that I think about it, I think it, it sold more than the, the Spider-Man number one, if I remember, the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man number one. But that the X-Men number one had multiple covers. I will say that, if I remember correctly, I think it sold 7 million copies. So... Jim Lee did that like 
I don't think any other artist could have did that. But that's how Jim Lee took the X-Men from here to there. Now, of course, I'm going to tell you right now, my favorite run is always going to be the John Byrne run. Chris Claremont and John Byrne run, to me, was the most epic. But I, I'm, not, I'm not taking nothing away from Jim Lee's run of X-Men. It was amazing. Amazing. And I, I very don't understand how this issue right here, his first X-Men art, is still so undervalued like it it should be going for way more just like um i give prime example frank miller's first dare, daredevil art like that goes for money like it's amazing how much that much that goes for and that's how i feel about this issue it should be going for way more like it's crazy because he did he did some with the x-men that no one could have ever have ever done ever like it's amazing what he did so I definitely got to give big props to Jim Lee for what he did with the X-Men. And this book should definitely be worth more. But I'm going to tell you this. Every time I see it and I see a high grade and I get it for cheap, I'm going to keep picking it up. I don't. I mean, everybody else could sleep on this book if they want to. But I really feel one day this book will get its just due. And it will go up in value just like that Frank Miller first Daredevil art uh, book did. So definitely. And then last but not least, he had Batman year uh Batman 436. Now I was very happy to pick up this one because this is the first appearance of Tim Drake. Um and it's also the origin of oh, dang, I forgot. Whew, I forgot. <laughs> um dang. Uh, my mind is gone, you guys. But the main thing is, is the first appearance of Tim Drake uh, before before you came Rob. And so definitely a key issue that's uh, very undervalued also right now. But it's starting to gain a little bit of steam lately. So I would say this definitely be on the lookout for this book and, and definitely be trying to get it. So I was very happy to get all those books for just $15.50. So always pays to go see what they have. Alright, and then I started hitting different LCSs. So, alright, so the first LCS I went to, they, they actually had the Winter Soldier number one. And the reason why I was, I was hoping they had the error one, but they didn't have the error one. But I wanted it anyway because I know num issue number one is the first cameo appearance of RJ. And of course they had over there also issue number two, which... That's RJ right there. So his cameo appearance in this book, his first full appearance and cover appearance is right here in this book, issue number two. So I was happy to pick up another copy of issue number two. Uh, I had just picked up two copies in my last Wednesday haul. Not this one, but the one before. So if you saw that video, you saw I had picked that up. But that's not all, y'all. Now... So, after I left this LCS, then I went to another LCS, and I couldn't believe it, because uh, this book right now, this book, issue number two right now, is going between $10 and $15, so it's going above a, a, a cover price, and I got this for cover price. Now, I was shocked, because when I went to this other LCS, guess what I found? <laughs> One. Two, three, four. So I found four more copies of this book. And I was just like, oh my God. And it was two other copies still there when I left, when I bought these four. But the only reason why I left those other two copies is because they actually had small little spine ticks. These are perfect. So... I grabbed the perfect ones, left the little spine tech ones there. So, very happy to get more of this first appearance, like first full appearance. Uh, I really feel that this character, RJ, is going to be doing something major. So, I think this this book is only going to heat up even more. So, I'm going to keep picking it up every time. And I'm, I'm going to be on the lookout for more issues of number one, too, so I can have that cameo appearance. Alright, now this is a book that I missed out on. It came out last month. Um, but I didn't know the importance of this book 
and because I had just bought issue number four. So I was like, oh man, I need issue number three. So it's Old Lady Harley, number three. And the reason why I'm glad I was able to get it in this cover price, by the way. All these books I got for cover price, uh, all the new ones. Um, now, the reason why is because, of course, it's the Bane, the Bane Twins, first appearance. But not only that, in the end of this book, you see a cameo of old, old man uh, Joker. So... Um, in issue four, you'll see another cameo of him. So he, so far, he's had two cameo appearances at the end of the of the end of the book. So it's been issue number three and issue number four. So definitely happy to get not only one; they had two. So I grabbed two of them. Very happy about that. This book I think might go up in the future only because of the fact that it has this Joker from the future. So we'll see what happens. And then, I went to another LCS. <laughs> Alright, so, this is a book I had just talked about recently. Because issue number 9 had just came out of this book. And issue number 9 had the first full appearance of this this little girl that's... Well, she's not a little girl, but she's short. A short girl from Wakanda that has the power of the last, like bear that from Wakanda um and she's she's rich too by the way so um but I didn't know about this character at all it's, and, and I, once I read issue number nine because I had issue number eight with Mortavis on the front and this is issue number seven by the way you guys let me put this over here so um issue number nine had her in it with her full she put on her full outfit and fought Domino um, and then her, it was some of her origin, so I got intrigued with this character. So I went to, I, I started doing my research to find out where, where her first appearance was, and it so happens that her first appearance was issue number seven. And I said in that video that I'm gonna be on the lookout for it, and luckily I found it for cover price. And I, man, this cover, I can't wait to find some more copies of this because I'm, I'm gonna keep grabbing. Man, this cover is awesome. I love it. Look at that. All I have to say is, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? <whistles> yeah. Woo. <laughs> I love this cover. Definitely. And and what's great is they're about to do a um they're about to do a book with all the females as a group as a group. I forgot the name of it though. It was in the previews. I forgot the name of it, but I'm looking forward to that too. So that cuz I'm enjoying the Domino run so far it's been great storytelling like it's been good so definitely enjoyed this so in this issue she is the first appearance and she hires domino in this issue to go um do a, a job for her so and then in issue eight with mortibus that's when you find out what the job was but definitely looking forward to uh finding some more copies of this and let's <laughs> so be on the lookout for this book I'm telling you, it might be a sleeper, so definitely that cover. Whew. And then last but not least, I have to say, now this is the book right here that I have the first printing. I have the second printing. I have the third printing. But I didn't have this fourth printing. And I was looking for this fourth printing because if you know anything about the printings, you know that every time they print a book to second print and third print and fourth print each time it's less and less of that print so let's say first print was 50,000 copies then the second print is going to be maybe 10 or shoot even less than that so most of the time second print is probably like 8,000 copies you know what I'm saying and then third print is less than that so it might be like 4,000 copies fourth print maybe be 2,000 copies so the, the 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 higher the printing the less copies are being printed of it so those are the hard ones to find that's why you'll notice that the fifth printing is fourth print fourth printing third printing of certain issues especially if it's if it's a highly sought book will go for some money so definitely was on the lookout for this fourth print I thought I missed the boat on this and I actually was able to get this for, for cover price, I have to say. 
So it's Venom number three. First appearance, of, for, first full appearance of Noel. Um, and of course, you know, his first appearance was um, unknown was in uh, Thor, God of Thunder, number six. So, um, or was it number four? I think it was number six. I don't remember. It's been a minute. But I got multiple copies of that. But anyways, very happy to find this. Fourth printing right there. So, yeah, very happy about that. Um, I, I'm telling you, I won't be surprised if this book in the future is going to be a highly sought after fourth printing. Trust and believe. So, very happy about that. All right, and last but not least, like I said, this is going to be a long video. So, you know, don't be mad at me. All right, so last but not least, I went to my used bookstore that I go to. And you guys know how I love that used bookstore. And if you're new to my channel, I have this used bookstore that I take regular books that I get for free. And I ain't going to explain how I get the regular books for free. But I get regular books for free, all types of books, like nonfiction, fiction, self-help, you know, financial, whatever kind of books you can think of, I get those for free. And when I get those for free, I take them to this used bookstore and I give them those books and then they'll give me store credit or cash. But I always take the store credit and I use that store credit to get comic books because they be having comic books there. So I basically nine times out of ten, I'm either getting the books, my comics for free that I get out of there or I'm paying a small amount because I'm, I, I, I you know, I'm using most of the credit. So um most of the credit covers the cost of the books but um so this time i didn't take a lot of books this time because i didn't have that many to take with with me sorry for the hiccups you guys um but um so i wound up getting a small stack as you can see there's a small stack uh and with the credit i was i basically paid two dollars out of my pocket for these books right here so i'm gonna tell you now all these books are you know super special but i know i needed them in my collection i'll put it to you like that and before we get started with this these books right here i just want everyone that's new to my channel if you get a chance go to my amazon store and check out my amazon store i have over a thousand items in my amazon store and you will help me uh make money so i could continue making great content like this and it will help me out get some new equipment and stuff so i can make ve better videos so check out my amazon sto uh, store it's the links for us and canadian shoppers are in the comment section so check out the comment section of any of my videos and you'll see it in there and if you're in if you're looking to lose weight and start off the new year right there's a there's a great program that I highly recommend that I have been using myself and so far I've lost a good amount of weight. I, I was surprised. Before I started this program I had weighed myself and I could not believe how much I weighed. I was like, it was the most I've ever weighed. I was at 235 pounds. Now, for me being the height that I am, my normal height, I'm supposed to only be at 165. So that's how much I was overweight, you guys. Now, I'm happy to say that I'm I'm close to almost being at two. So I, I've lost a good amount, and I'm I'm try, I'm I'm going to get to my 165 because I need at my age I'm 46. I need to be back down to my my regular size that I'm supposed to be. Um, so um, it's it's been working, you guys. So I'm definitely not going to recommend something that doesn't work. So. I definitely suggest that if you're looking to lose weight, definitely go to the comment section. There's going to be a link in the comment section for that also. Check it out. And if, if you decide to get the program, you definitely will. Uh, I will get a small percentage of the proceeds and it will help me out. So it will help you out and help me out at the same time. So it's a win-win for both of us. And, uh, and, and your health is very important. So definitely... I suggest you do it if you're looking to, you know, change that in your life. So, let's get on with the books I got from the used bookstore. Alright, so, I got the Mighty Thor 363. Now, 
All right, I had to pause for a second, you guys. Um, some some just happens right now, but I had to take care of it. But anyway, um, this book right here is basically uh, it's it's sort of a key, but it's not a key. Uh, <laughs> all right, now I got this book because number one, I love the story because this is when Curse is on earth and he's just wrecking stuff like uh the beyonder had gave him po basically the beyonder had gave him uh powers to rival thor and then not only that once thor had put on the belt that gives him extra strength the the belt of strength um then the beyonder saw that you know thor started winning he wind up increasing curse's uh power even more so uh it was crazy um but this is a great story with Beta Ray Bill, Thor, Power Pack is in it. Um, it's a very great story, but what happens at the end of the book is what is makes it a key, sort of. Um, <laughs> and the reason why I say this is because, um, alright, so at the end of the book, Loki turns Thor into a frog. And if you, if you ever read that story where Thor is a frog and he still is still has the power of Thor... Um, yeah, <laughs> so it's sort of a key, um, I definitely will say that. Now, as you know, there is another character that wants, what happens with this story is that, um, supposedly, uh, there's a, um, a small piece of Thor's hammer got, took, you know, got broken off, and there was actually one of the frogs that was a friend of Thor, it was other frogs, that Thor met that Thor wound up being friends with uh against the rats the, the frogs and the rats were fighting each other it's it's a crazy story <laughs> that's all I gotta say but anyways they um the the piece of Thor's hammer is left behind and one of the frogs wind up and, and it was crazy as one that this frog used to be a human so he he got turned into a frog he has a whole another story to him but he picks up the small piece of uh Thor's <laughs> hammer and he winds up turning into you know Thor frog so um and he's actually in continuity right now he's with the the pet avengers or whatever with lockjaw and uh lockheed and all of them um so uh but like I said, this this is kind of a minor key, so that's why I got it. I was just like, plus it looks amazing. I mean, the condition of it, and it was ninety nine cents. So definitely, definitely was gonna pick that up. And like I said, I only paid two bucks for all the books, so because of the store credit. All right, now this book I'm gonna pick this up every time. I probably got like <sighs> probably like nine copies of this book, but the the issue that I really want is the variants. Now the variant goes for some money. I can't find that nowhere, and it, I I might never find it because everyone is such a beautiful cover that no one's gonna let that go for cheap. So it's a Batman. I mean Superman, Batman number eight, Michael Turner cover. Now this is supposed to be the first appearance of New Supergirl, and this one was nine nine cents also. So I'm gonna pick this up every time. And that Supergirl variant with Supergirl on the front cover. Oh, my God. Michael Turner. It's, it's an amazing cover. Everybody knows about that cover. So, been on the lookout for that. Can't find it nowhere. But I'm going to pick this up every time. Every time. Now, I was surprised to find this. All right. So, this one was 85 cents. <laughs> and it was... Uh, Superman Rebirth number 10. <laughs> and first meeting of the Super Sons, if I remember correctly. And for 85 cents. And I missed the boat on this when it came out. Like when it first came out, um, I missed the boat. And when I did find copies of it, they were so spine ticked so badly that I just left them there. And I think there was a second printing too. And that was messed up really bad. So I left it there too. Um, was there a second person? It's been so long. I don't remember. But I know I missed the boat on this. But was surprised to see it there for 85 cents. And not only did I see it there for 85 cents, but for 99 cents, there was another one. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm like, man, I really missed the boat, but thank God for this used bookstore, man, this used bookstore. And I was surprised nobody already had found it and scooped it up because this used bookstore, really a lot of comic book collectors come to this bookstore. Like, every time I go there, there's people going through the comic books every time through the long box. It's not even long boxes. Like, they got, like, these, well, they, eh, it's like, little shelves and stuff where they have them where you you feel like you're in a long box but you're not you know so uh but yeah i was just surprised i was just like man this is crazy that i was able to find two of them and nobody else had picked them up so and i was just surprised one was a dollar and then the other 99 cents the other one was 85 cents i was like well, mm. but was happy to get that then i was happy to pick up another copy of this for 99 cents and that's moon Knight 189 and this is the first appearance of muse which is right there behind him in this issue he actually gets killed by moon Knight, but then he comes back in a later issue alive so uh, and and when he died in this issue even back then when i did a review on this issue when it first came out i said in that video that i don't think he's dead because it wouldn't make sense for them to bring out a character and just kill him in the same issue it just didn't make sense to me. Um, and the character's powers is pretty... I like the powers, so I was just like, that's crazy to make a, a, a pretty good character and just kill him. It just didn't make sense. And I was right. So they didn't kill him. He came back He came back to life. So this is his first appearance right here. So definitely, every time I see this book, I'm going to pick it up. And then, of course, I had to get issue 188 because issue 188 has... A first appearance of this guy right here, but I forgot his name. I'm always forgetting his name, but it's definitely a character that plays a key role um, in this storyline. Uh, so this was 99 cents also. So every time I see this book, I'm going to pick it up also. All right. And then they had Superman 149. Now, this book right here, I'm going to pick this up every time, too. It's, the first, it's her first appearance, um, Strange Visitor. That's her name, Strange Visitor. So, very happy to pick that up, and it was $0.99, cents, so going to pick that up every time. Now, I probably got about four copies of this now, and I've got them all for a dollar or less. So, every time I see it, I'm going to pick it up. And last but not least, the last book was Superman 123. And this is when he becomes blue and we electric. So this is his first appearance right here in this costume <laughs> with these powers. So, and this one was nine nine cents also. So I've been picking this book up a lot too. And there's two covers to this book, and I've been picking both of them up. So every time I see it for a dollar, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, never know if in the future this might get become real real hot so definitely love picking them up while they're cheap so that was it you guys for my haul and thank you everyone for bearing through this uh this this haul let me put this back up just so you guys can enjoy the view of that awesome cover just such an awesome cover i'm telling you every time i see this book right here i'm gonna pick up multiple i'm gonna keep picking it up even if i have to pay cover price hopefully i get it for cheaper but cover price cover i'm gonna keep picking it up and like i said i think this character first appearance this female that has the power of uh a bear uh wakanda bear wakanda bear yeah the last wakanda bear <laughs> um i definitely think she's gonna be maybe a key player in the future so definitely definitely specking on this book and i just love this cover so but thank you, everyone. Uh, hopefully, everyone's had a good good week, and uh, hopefully you have a good weekend. Uh, hopefully, you guys have been checking out all my videos. I've been making videos of different stuff besides just comics. Uh, I did a, one for this awesome pizza place that's in D.C. That's only in D.C. right now. I, I, they got one location in New York, but besides New York, they, they're only in D.C. So if you ever come to D.C., you definitely have to check this spot out. So I definitely suggest you look at that video. Um, and I made a video for uh, this lighter that i seen on TV. I've just been doing different type of videos. I did one for the um, 
government employees uh, for the future, if they ever get another shut shut down like that again, th they can be prepared. Uh, so, and it's really a video for everyone. Really, uh, everyone needs to do what I suggested in that video. So, go check out those videos, you guys. You guys might be sleeping on some good content that you know it doesn't have to just be about comic books. I know this is my ch my channel is mostly comic books, but I, I try to, I've been trying to do other things just because I want you guys to see other sides of other things besides just comics. You know, there's more to life than just comics. Okay, uh, now comics is a big part of my life, but there's more things to it than just that. So definitely check out my other videos, and I'm gonna keep doing other stuff. So don't think I'm gonna stop. You know, so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep making videos of whatever I like to do. And whatever I find interesting or whatever I think I need to make a video about. So, But like I said before, 90% of it will still be about comics. So hit that bell, subscribe, and check out these two old videos right there. And until next time, everyone, I will see you later.